A car manufacturer claims that you can drive their new vehicle across a hill with a 47 degree slope before the vehicle starts to tip. If the vehicle is 2 meters wide, how high is its center of gravity? So let's figure out what's uh, happening here visually. So this is actually uh, maybe contrary to what you think. This is not a slope where the car is moving up or down the slope. This is a banked road of 47 degrees where the car is coming out at us like this. So visually that's how I would represent it. So this is the car. Um, this is the front of the car coming into us and it says if the angle of this slope of the bank door was a little more than 47 the car would tip over and uh, fall over this way. So we know our formula for a critical angle uh, for, in this case as um, critical angle is 10 inverse of half the track width that means half the width of the car so track width over 2 divided by the height till the center of gravity. So we are asked to find what is the how high is the center of gravity. So we have to ask to find h. So rearranging, we can say uh, 10 of critical angle equals uh, track width half of track width over height. So height becomes half of track width over 10 of critical angle. So that is so a uh, track width is is um, 2 meters, so half of that is 1 meter, so 2 over 2 divided by 10 of 47 degrees. So that is a value of 1 divided by, what is 10 of 47? 1.07. And so our height till our center of gravity is 1 divided by 1.07, which is 0.93 meters, which is what was asked of us in the question.